guys, once again, it's RC Flare Cat. This is going to be a very, very small update of the Gecko. I know I just did one, but we just got home from vacation maybe a week ago, and I wanted to show you guys how he's doing. Uh, we will be doing a special for the 250 view, 300 view on Crusty Gecko, and we have a couple ideas, like maybe getting him something, and also uh, we're going to try and do a 10 subscriber special. If not, it's not a big deal, but... Yeah, we will be doing something for the 300 view special once we get enough money in our Crested Gecko funds. So yeah, he's been doing okay. Um, I've noticed he just shed maybe two days ago. It looked like he did a full shed. I, we haven't done a played with him a full time or for very long at a time yet. So I'm not sure. I looked at him and it looked like he shed all the way because I pulled him out for a sec just to check if he shedded. And it looked like that. Um, please tell me in the comments if he's not really wrinkly, but when he turns it, he gets a little bit wrinkly. I'm worried that he's dehydrated, but I don't think he is because we provide him with water all the time. I mean, we spray him three or four times a day when you're only supposed to spray him two. So we keep that humidity between 60 and 70 almost at all times. Once in a while, it'll drop down to 50, which I've heard it's good to do that in the day once in a while, which it does. And, um, yeah, so we just sprayed his tank. It's 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night right now. So he was coming out. I guess we scared him a little bit right now. We have the light on in our room, so he's not going to come out for a little bit. I'm sure he's probably going to go eat some of his food. It looks a little runny. Oh, yeah. And as I was a little reluctant to tell you what the uh, 300 or 250 Crested Gecko View special is going to be, but um, what we're really going to do is uh, get that, someone said that they need food off the ground, which I thought that might be a good idea since we always, almost always when we were on our trip, we saw him on that vine. I mean, every night he was on that vine. So we're thinking maybe you put the ledge a little bit above that vine, and then he will go up there and he'll because he's a skinny gecko, I want him to get a little bit bigger. Um, so I know, don't want him to get fat, but I just he's pretty skinny for a gecko. And as I was saying, tell me if you think he's from the videos I've shown you. If you think he's uh, a little dehydrated or something, or because I we provide him with water and stuff like I said, and not just the water bowl, droplets of water all over there. As you see right there, we spray him completely, well, his tank completely. So, yeah, he's been doing okay. And, yeah, we're going to get that ledge for him in some plastic cups. As you see, we are using plastic cups right now, but those take a while to make because we have to cut the bottoms off of big plastic cups. So we're going to get that ledge and buy a pack of them so we can just throw them away and get new ones because it really gets annoying having to clean them or cut the cups. So, yeah. And, yeah, he's doing okay. He hasn't shown any signs of anything bad except for that when he turns, his sides get a little wrinkly. Pretty sure that's normal because people said a little bit of wrinkles is normal in them. So, I think he's okay because he was really wrinkly at the time, but that's because he was shedding. But, now he's just, now just when he turns quite a bit, does he get wrinkly, so I think he's doing alright. And I showed you that we got a moss. There's the big bag, his spray bottle. I kind of want to get a bigger spray bottle because we keep having to refill that one. We feed him refreshy grubs and fruit, like I said. And we are. I'm going to try to feed him crickets once again. He really has never paid any attention to them. I heard that it's really bad to keep him in his cage, but that's the only way that he'll even... Because uh, we can't leave him in a bucket or else... It, It'll stress them out way too much, and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to put them in his cage. They can't really get up to him anyways, except for by the vine. And I'm hoping maybe he'll eat them. Maybe we'll do this in a month after a while, because he never pays attention to them. But I thought I saw him go after one, so I want to try again. And yeah, that's going to be about the video. And there's the stir sticks.
I just kind of wanted to show you the station we have set up for them. Just a table. There's some paper towel down there. The stuff, his um, lamp fixture stuff. And there's extra pieces of carpet since we bought the really big one. So we have three extra pieces for him. We actually did a, just did a smaller or a medium clean. We took all his plants out, soaked them, and cleaned them off. And we took his uh, carpet out, sprayed it off and stuff. And in um, pretty soon, two or three weeks, we're going to do maybe four weeks, about a month again. We'll do a big clean with 3% bleach. That's what we did before we went on our trip, and it'll be do. That's what we'll be doing before we go on our other trip. We, I like to do uh, do some big cleans before we go on trips. So yeah, his tank's looking pretty clean right now because it's only been a week since we did that clean where we took all the leaves out, uh, wiped them down and soaked them, wiped his water dish out. Uh, took we didn't actually change the carpet because it hasn't been doing anything it doesn't really look that bad but we took that out uh, got all the poop off of it sprayed it off put it back in put everything back in with nice clean uh, a nice clean water dish and very clean water we always uh, add water or usually usually we add water and then at least um, every two or three days we dump the water out in his tank to add some humidity and spray more water in it but since he um, doesn't have the dirt anymore he really doesn't get dirty get it dirty usually used to be we had to dump the water out every single day but it never gets dirty now so we usually just add fresh water and yeah cuz it um, usually it'll It'll dry up, and then, so yeah, that's what we did. We also wiped the sides off uh, with a wet paper towel to get it all clean, so this tank's looking pretty clean. That's the only branch that we didn't, uh, that I didn't clean, so it's, that's the one that's kind of dirty, and it was actually the cleanest at that time, and we wanted to leave him in the tank while we cleaned it, because it wasn't very too bad for him and we wanted him to have something to hide in while we were cleaning it so that's about it uh, his nice new clean tank with all that's actually the bowl that ca he came in we got it from this awesome place him from this awesome place I never told you the actual name called bluefish aquarium they're a pet store there I think they only have one store and so they're not like a chain thing like Petco and it seems as though they actually take pretty good care of their animals. He seemed really nice when we got him there. So, yeah, it seemed like they take to they took very good care. And then we just have that green moss there. It was all that we could find at the pet store when we were uh, on our vacation. And there's the little plastic cups in there that we use. And yeah, that's about it. And I searched it up. I thought. Because his tank sometimes smelled kind of stagnant, so we keep the towel on only one side and leave the other side breathable. And then he's got um, a line of breathing holes, or a line of ventilation there. So that's his tank. Just an update from after we went on our trip. So thanks for watching this. He's right there, if you can see, behind his plant. He's kind of scared. I'm probably scaring him a little bit. And that's the update for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. RC Flare Cat out.